Jax here from Legend Brands. Now I know Anjanati already filled you in on how microns matter earlier this month. And don't worry, if you missed it, I put a link in the description below. Let's do a quick recap. The human respiratory system doesn't protect us against very small particulates. In fact, any particles smaller than five microns can be breathed deep into our lungs. And as contractors, we know what that means. They can affect the health of everyone on site. That's why at Legend Brands, we proudly stand behind our Dry Ease HEPA 700 and its filter lineup. Oh wait, I know, filter lineup. Do filters really matter? Yeah, they do. It's kind of like taking a road trip. A lot of vehicles will get you from point A to point B. Heck, Ange prefers a scooter. <laughs> My ride is a little different. So if you're more like me, listen up. Many of the filters for sale online only filter out 99.97% of airborne particulates that are 0.3 micron size or larger, which could be up to any size, which sounds pretty good, but we can't forget that the smallest airborne particles are often the most dangerous, including bacteria and viruses. Compare that to our Dry Ease HEPA 700 filters, which remove 99.99% of 0.1 to 0.5 micron size particulates. So the HEPA 700 removes almost all the small particulates that other air scrubbers don't even touch. Scooter. Oh yeah. Motorcycle. Let's get hands-on with the HEPA 700. First, it's DOP compliant out of the box, but remember, to meet those qualifications, you have to use dry ease filters. And if you're wondering what it means to be DOP compliant, check out the second link in the description below for Ange and Addy's episode titled, Air Scrubber Filters Explained. Okay, it has a primary HEPA filter, which is synthetic and more durable, and a two-inch pre-filter. And of course, for those jobs that contain noxious odors, fumes, or smoke, swap out the two-inch pre-filter with a one-inch pre-filter, and of course, an activated carbon filter. The intake is 14 inches, which contributes to its 700 CFM cubic feet per minute filtration. That's over 35% more muscle than most competitors. The center of the HEPA 700 has a concave, which equalizes the pressure as the fan is drawing in the particulate. That gives us good even penetration into the filter. You'll also notice the gasket all the way around the filter seats perfectly within the housing. And check out the gasket right here that runs around the perimeter of the injection molded housing itself. It's an airproof design. This increases efficiency and maximizes the life of your filters. Oh, and another thing I've got to point out are these four cutouts on the top of the molding. They align perfectly with the feet on the bottom so you can easily stack multiple units. The HEPA 700 is variable speed, which is important if you are using it in occupied spaces, as you can lower the speed to keep things quiet. And the speed of your units will determine how you use the built-in GFCI outlet. At 1.5 amps, which is the lowest speed for the HEPA 700, we have the ability to daisy chain up to eight machines on a standard 15 amp circuit. At three amps, which is the highest speed, we have the ability to daisy chain four machines. So the variable speed actually assists power distribution as well. Containments, don't worry, we'll get there. But first, let's talk a bit about Command Hub. Each bar indicates a 40 to 50 CFM increase all the way to 700 CFM. There's even filter notifications. Green is good, yellow means you have about 30% left, and red means it's time to replace that filter. It informs you of error codes, has a Wi-Fi icon to notify you of your connection, and a configuration button so you can program another language. And don't forget about the Dry East Command Center app, where you can check in on all these things remotely. And remember, even if your unit is saying the filters are good, at the end of every job that has contaminants like mold, you wanna change your filter out to prevent cross-contamination. Don't clean and reuse them. Time to head to our containment room. Before we step inside, I just wanna say, when you're setting up your drying system, we recommend using one air scrubber for every dehumidifier. Containment or not, it's always best to place it in the center of the room out of the direct path of the airflow created by dehumidifiers and air movers. Let's head over. Containments are used to contain the spread of harmful airborne particulates to spaces that were unaffected by the initial water damage. To put it simple, we contain the bad stuff to prevent it from negatively impacting the good stuff in the rest of the space. 
Once the containment is built, it's a common practice to cut a circular hole in the wall of the containment and have the HEPA 700 inlet push through it so the outlet is outside the containment. That way the harmful particulates are being removed from the contained space and 99.99% .99 clean air is being introduced to the space outside the containment. What's even better is using ducting to direct the air outside, maybe through a window if possible. That way, there are zero harmful particulates being introduced to the interior space outside the structure. Remember though, there's a maximum ducting length of 25 feet with the HEPA 700. You can use either semi-rigid ducting or lay flat. I'll leave links to those in the description. Another quick tip on containment. I always see all the contact points of the containment with another layer of tape. Too much tape never hurt anyone. Nice work, Jax. Thanks. Done for the day? Yeah. Going for a ride? Uh, yeah. Want a race? I'll meet you in the parking lot! Legend Brands.